Hey, what time is it? Don't what me. I said, what time is it? Yeah, that's right. And where are you supposed to be? Then why aren't you there? Right now, why aren't you in bed? I didn't ask you to say sorry. I want to know why you aren't in bed. Hmm? Yes, I see you're on the computer. What are you doing? What's so important that you decided you're going to break the rules and stay up past your bedtime? Nothing. You broke my rules again over nothing. No, no, don't backtrack now. You said it was nothing, and I believe you. It's just a game. That's why you said it was nothing. Now, we've discussed this. We've already spoken about this before. About you staying up late past your bedtime on this fucking computer. It's sneaky, princess. And I told you that I wasn't going to allow you to be sneaky anymore. And I trusted you to take me seriously. I trusted you to do the right thing and be obedient. But, clearly, you don't appreciate my patience, do you? Excuse me? What do you mean you thought you were allowed to stay up tonight? I most certainly did not know or give you permission to keep playing on the computer. Now that's just not true, is it, honey? I was in my study, as I am most nights, working late for my job, doing important work. And you came in, gave me a kiss, and said that you'd be going to brush your teeth, and I told you good night. Where in any of that did I give you permission to stay up? Oh, you didn't say goodnight back to me. You didn't say that you are going to bed, just that you are going to brush your teeth. Ah, I see. Now, I don't like that even more. Remember that word I just used? Sneaky? That is exactly what you were doing. Being sneaky. You know damn good and well what time you are expected to start getting ready for bed and going to sleep which is the exact time that you came into my office to see me. There is no reason for me to assume that you wouldn't be following your normal nightly routine and doing everything that you're supposed to be doing. Up, up, up. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear you or any more of your excuses. I am beyond disappointed with you, girl. I am furious. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. No, no, I understand. You don't want me to be patient with you anymore. You don't want to be treated nicely and listen to daddy after he corrects your behavior. That's just fine. No, no, that's okay. Get up. No, leave the computer on. We'll deal with that later. Get up. Follow me to the kitchen. Stop dawdling. It's the middle of the fucking night and I'm already annoyed with you. Hurry up. Okay, now open up the cupboard. No, not that cupboard. Not that one either. You know which one. No, don't but daddy me. Don't you dare whine. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth unless I'm asking you a question. Do you understand? Good. Now go on. Take the container out. Now move. Come on. Back to your computer room. Come on. Hurry up. Now put the container down. Take off your pants. Underwear too. Hmm. You know what? Shirt and bra too. Take it all off. You're shivering. Are you cold? Good. Now move the chair out of the way and pour the rice on the floor. Why do you look confused? Move it out of the way and pour the rice where the desk chair should be. There, that's enough. Now you know what to do. 
kneel down. Go on, kneel on the rice. There you go. Oh, honey, does that not feel nice? Hmm? Does it hurt? Oh, yeah, I bet it does. That's good. Because that's what you deserve. Now reach up to the desk and turn off the game. Go into settings. Uninstall it. You heard me. Uninstall the game. I will not tell you again. You know what? You can take the disc out too. There you go. Snap it in half. Go on. Snap it. Would you look at that bottom lip? I don't care if you cry, sweetheart. I mean, it's a ridiculous thing to cry over if you do, but feel free. You know, I thought we'd gotten past this. I mean, I really thought we'd broken you out of these bad habits of deceitfulness and disobedience. I mean, what's really ridiculous is that we have to go through any of this in the first place. That you make me do things like this to you because you can't manage to be an obedient girl and follow the rules. In this house, in my house, we do not break the rules. We do not behave disobediently just for the sake of playing a video game. We listen, we obey, and we show respect. You want to relax and play and have fun? That is fine but you do it during the parts of the day that you know are set aside for your free time, not during the time that is specifically dedicated to a task, a chore, or a part of a routine that I've given you. This fascination you seem to have had with disappointing me and trying to get away with ignoring the bedtime I've set aside for you is over. Have I made myself clear? Good. Now... Time for your punishment. Oh, did you think that was it? A little strip tease in a lecture? No, darling. I told you that I've had enough of this. And after tonight, you are never going to stay up late past your bedtime gaming like this again. Open up the document application. Now type in... Only good girls get to play games. I am not a good girl. I only deserve to kneel on rice. Now, why do you think I'd be making you write those kind of lines? That's right, because you're a bad girl. Not a good one. Not at all. Now, what time is it? Hmm. Okay, so since it was... Three long hours that you spent happily disobeying your daddy behind his back, you can type that line out 300 times. You will not copy paste. Your spelling and grammar will be perfect. You will not use autocorrect and you will keep your back straight the entire time. No slouching or leaning back on your heels. I expect perfect posture. And considering the height of the desk and how low you are from kneeling, I think this task might take a little longer than you're expecting. Now, we both know the cameras are on, and as much as I would love to trust that my sweet girl would do the right thing, I think we both know you're not worthy of my trust anymore, are you? No, Daddy is right. So... Tomorrow morning, I'm going to check them, and I'm going to see that you are obedient, and that you followed my every instruction to the letter, aren't I? Yes, what? Yes, sir, that's right. And when you're ready for sleep, where are you going to go? Hmm, have a guess. No, no, definitely not the bed. You sleep on the floor next to the bed. No blanket and no putting your clothes back on. You wanted to be irresponsible and sabotage a good night's rest so badly? 
You can try to fall asleep cold. No pajamas for you. And don't worry, honey. After tonight, you're not going to get banned from the computer like last time. No, no. For the next three weeks, if you want to use the computer, you can. You have my permission. But if you do choose to use it, you'll do it naked. You'll do it kneeling on the rice. And you'll do it with that beautiful posture we talked about. But if you decide that you'd like to be a nice girl, a grateful girl, and a useful girl, maybe you'll think about taking a break from the computer and use that free time to come be with daddy in his office. And play with him instead. You can spend time making me happy instead of yourself. Who knows? Maybe if you do a good enough job of showing how much more important spending time with me is, you might even earn some forgiveness. You'd like that, wouldn't you, honey? For daddy to not be mad? And to think better of you? Of course you do. Now, I'm going to go into bed, and I'm going to drift into a long, warm, and well-deserved sleep while you stay out here and complete your punishment. Does that sound good? Good. Now give Daddy a kiss and thank him for being so nice to you. You're welcome. And baby... If I catch you awake past your bedtime again and have to make you kneel down for your punishment, it'll be on salt instead of rice. And it'll be with something down your throat. Oh my god.